All right, today I'm going to be making a device that I call Stereo Super Ears. And this basically is just a device that allows you to hear things that you normally wouldn't hear. This is the schematic. If I can run over it quickly. This is just one half, but the actual device is going to be this times two, since it's stereo. Here's how it works. Um, I have a 5.6K resistor. Anytime you see this plus VCC, that means connect to the positive of the battery. Um, that biases this electret mic right here, which goes through this capacitor to filter out any DC. Then uh, it leads to this op amp. Uh, the op amp's amplification is determined by this 1K resistor and this 2.7 meg uh, resistor. Um, this over here is a voltage divider connected to the op amp to give a reference for uh, um, half the voltage. This coming in here is actually one half VCC because there's two resistors of the same value connected to the positive and to the negative. The middle is going to be half the voltage. That's going to go into this op amp. Don't worry about what the op, op amp is right now. Out of the op amp, this is out. Oh, you goes through this capacitor which filters out again any DC and just lets the AC come through and to the headphones alright I'd like to talk about the op amp that I'll be using this is um, the TL054 and that's what I have uh, you can get any op amp going to work for you um, uh, this isn't one of the most popular ones, but uh, it's the one I have. Uh, you'll notice there's uh, in this particular chip, there's actually four op amps. And one op amp, the symbol for that would be a triangle. And normally, if you're looking at a schematic, you would see something similar to this, something like that, and an output. Output is always this one right here. This one is usually uh, plus VCC, and this is usually minus VCC. Um, however, the way I have mine set up is I'm using a ground here, so this will be connected directly to the negative terminal of the battery, and this is connected directly to the positive terminal of the battery and the voltage divider across this um, positive input here allows me to use um, just a single voltage supply. Um, normally there would be uh, a ground and a plus and a minus but in this case since I'm using a voltage divider on the positive leg of the input you need not worry about it it allows you to use an op amp off of a single power supply source. So this is your out this is your in minus in positive uh, battery minus battery positive so if you look at this op amp the one that I'm using in this example you have an in minus in plus a voltage plus a voltage minus and an out so it would actually you could draw a little schematic inside of this it would look something like this a triangle the output goes up to here and the positive battery in is right here negative battery in is right here so there's actually four of these inside of each one of these op amps and they look like that there's one here up in and one here so I'm gonna end up using two channels out of the four you can use any any channels you wish and you could use any op amp you wish. Some op amps only look like this, and they have two. This would actually be perfect for this project, but I don't have any. So okay, on to the parts list. I have two electric microphones. You can probably pick these up at Radio Shack. If not, you can definitely get them on eBay or salvage them out of old radios with uh, old cassette radios that used to record your voice. Um, Additionally, I'm going to have uh, four or five point, approximately 5.6K resistors. Um, 
This isn't important as long as it's close to 5K and they're all the same. That's what matters. Uh, two 1K resistors, again, not important as long as they're real close to 1K. You could probably um, use... It's going to... It's going to affect your amplification, amplification, but you can probably use something just a little bit smaller, a little bit higher. Uh, two times 2.7 M resistors. This you could use probably anywhere from 1 to uh, 2.7 mega ohms. Uh, the reason is, um, this is basically your sensitivity knob right here. The higher the resistance, the more amplification you're going to get. Because the op amp actually uses the relationship between this 1K and this 2.7 meg uh, to determine the amplification. Um, moving on, four times um, 100,000 picofarad capacitors. That's a 104. You might not be able to see it. It says 104. And that's the code for uh, 100,000 picofarads. It's actually a 10 with Four, the third number being how many zeros to add after one zero, so one, two, three, four. Thus, uh, 104. Additionally, I keep handy the list of uh, the conversions. So if, you know, for instance, if I was looking up uh, a 104, that's the code, that's 100,000 picofarads, it's the same as 100 nanofarads, or you could use a 0.1 microfarad. Um, that comes in handy, even though I could do the conversions because it's just uh, 10 to the minus 6, but I like visuals. <clears throat> uh, then I have a battery holder. Uh, 6 volt, it's important. 4.5, you'll get a little bit of amplification, not as much as you'd like. Uh, 2, you're going to get very, very little amplification and a lot of distortion. Uh, four batteries, six volt, that's important for this circuit. Um, switch, optional, obviously, headphone jack, you know, that just, that's all cosmetic. You could wi hardwire something in, but I'm going to use a headphone jack since this is going to be a permanent project. So my first step is to go ahead and place the op amp. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and center it on the board. I'm going to try and keep everything symmetrical since it's going to be a, a stereo device. So I can count my holes one, two, three, four on each side of the on each side of the uh, op amp. The pins that are sticking through, just kind of bend them over to stay in place. The first thing I'd like to work on specifically is that the uh, the positive input for each op amp has uh, exactly half the voltage going to it uh, through this re resistor divider. So I have my two uh, 5.6k resistors. First thing I'm going to do is um, solder those onto the board, and then I'll solder a wire from the middle of these to the positive of the uh, op amp. What I've done here is I've chosen this rail, meaning all these holes on the left side, to be the uh, positive rail for my voltage source, and all the holes on this side to be my negative. And what I'm going to do now is uh, all these holes this way are actually going to be lined up like a breadboard, like so. So if I were to stick uh, a resistor here, then that would actually lead to this third pin. For instance, if the resistor came through on this hole, I'd know that all these holes that line up are supposed to go to this third pin on the uh, IC. This would be the IC in the middle. And that's kind of the, the logic that I'm going to use here. You can see my resistor divider now from the negative. Here's the middle of the resistor divider, and this is going to be the positive rail. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to use um, the op amps on the left side of this board uh, being uh, channels 1 on the schematic and channels 2 on the schematic. So, the stuff that you see over here actually isn't going to connect to this side. The only thing that's going to connect is the uh, negative rail. I chose this side to be the positive since uh, this side is naturally the positive end. And that will help me uh, differentiate which side is which when I'm building it.
I have my voltage divider and it's going to lead to pin 3 here. However, I also want it to lead to the positive rail on this second op, op amp. We can see on the schematic that that's um, pin 5. So I'll actually have to take a wire from pin 3 and connect it to pin 5. I have the wire here connecting the two pins 3 and 5. I went ahead and soldered that on. And I drilled a hole now for the headphone jack. And I just basically made it to where um, the negative on the headphone jack is going to be touching the negative rail uh, as per the schematic. And then I'll probably solder the two uh, capacitors on uh, right to the output pins which is going to be um, in this example pin number one and pin number two. Okay, I have the capacitors. Uh, from the output pins, 1 and 7, and they actually go out to these red wires which lead to the left and right channels on the um, headphone jack. Uh, next step I think is I'm going to take uh, the 2.7 mega ohm resistors, these guys, and attach them from the output pin of the uh, op amp to the uh, negative in. Okay, you can see the two uh, 2.7 mega ohm resistors here and here, and those go from the output pins 1 and 7 to the negative input pins on the op amp. Uh, in my case it's pins 2 and pin 6, and I have them soldered on the back here. Um, these eventually will connect right here to the op amp itself, however I have one more resistor to connect to the negative of the output or negative of the op amp here and that's this 1k that's going to lead to the capacitor and that's going to go in between the uh, electret mic and the voltage source however now I think I'm going to start out with the electret mic and then work my way back towards the op amp as far as uh, soldering components on the board okay I have the uh, uh, electret microphones uh, halfway soldered on and those are connected to uh, the positive leads are connected to the uh, resistors here and here and those are going to be connected to the power source which will connect to here um, as you can see in the schematic um, the electric microphone one end is connected to the ground or negative terminal of the battery and the other one is connected through a 5.6k resistor to that's these guys to the uh, voltage source and these both are the 5.6k okay so uh, my next step basically is to just tie a capacitor between the uh, resistor electric microphone junction um, through uh, a 1k resistor all the way to the uh, negative in on the op amp. Alright, so this is our completed project. Um, the reason I have these not uh, hardwired to the board, I forgot to mention, is uh, just to reduce the noise that's going to come through the microphones while you're handling it. And actually these, these two wires actually do a very good job of uh, reducing any shock when it comes to moving, moving the object itself around. Um, so our project is complete so uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is meant for earphones however I have a little recorder I'm gonna try and hook it to so you can hear what I hear. Now it's time to celebrate.
my fans.